Welcome to the Getty Center, one of the most popular art museums in the U.S. But it's not just a museum. The Getty is also known for its modern architecture, the winding gardens, and panoramic views of Los Angeles. The Getty is located on top of a hill, so you can see all the way out to the Pacific Ocean. And to get from down here to up there, we're taking the tram when it gets here. <laughs> I'm Sarah Hadako. A few years ago, I took a road trip across the U.S. and realized there's a whole lot of stuff that would be really cool to see in 3D. We're starting where I stopped, all the way in California. So tighten up your specs, because we're going on a trek. Yeah. You're in Spectrex. This is the main entrance hall to the museum, where visitors can get an overview of the center before heading out to the courtyard. It's also where my favorite part of every museum is, the gift shop. The Getty Center is a continued expansion of artwork originally collected by billionaire and Getty Oil Company owner, J. Paul Getty. The main campus consists of the North, South, East, and West pavilions. Each contains art from specific time periods and geographical areas. The entire complex is covered in stone, over a million square feet of beige textured travertine. The travertine is imported from Italy and actually contains fossilized leaves, feathers, and branches. So you're literally surrounded by ancient history. Most of the walls, windows, and floors are laid out in a grid of 30-inch squares. Can you count them all? Ooh, maybe that guy can help. The panoramic South Promontory, or Overlook, has views all the way out to Santa Monica and the Pacific Ocean. Due to the southern exposure, it's warmer on this side of the center. So by design, it contains drought-tolerant plants, like cacti and succulents, that thrive in this environment. The central garden at the Getty Center is an evolving exhibit that's intended to change with the seasons. This reflecting pool contains a stepstone waterfall and a maze sculpted from azaleas. The garden is home to more than 500 varieties of plants, creating this living work of art. In this part of the garden, bougainvillea vines climb up through custom steel trellises designed to resemble trees. Now that we're done smelling the roses, it's time to head inside and look at some art. The Getty Center is known for its diverse collection of paintings, sculptures, furniture, and decorative arts from medieval to modern times. Throughout the galleries, ooh, look at the ceiling. Throughout the galleries, sunlight is an important architectural element. The paintings on the upper levels of the pavilions are all naturally lit 
there are special filters on the windows to prevent damage to the artwork. Van Gogh's irises is one of the more popular works on display. If you want to get a closer look, you have to get in line. The Getty Center really is a one-of-a-kind experience here in LA. In just a few steps, you go from one world into another. It's an endless gallery of classic art and lush sculpted grounds. You might need more than a day to take it all in, but it's worth it.